the, but the but the issue is a wide variety of exercises. You know, uh, uh, the, Dick said in, in our book that we're uh, really Swiss Army knives, not just uh, born to run. We're born to move all of our parts uh, equally and, and vigorously. Uh, so that uh, you know, exercises involve changes in in landscape, like uh, trail running, but also various games that demand more of our brain as we're exercising is probably the best way of doing it. So something like dance, it's, it's a high aerobic activity, but is uh, demands us to do things in the correct way and, and uh, go along with the music or uh, something like uh, the Taekwondo or, or uh, the martial arts, which are very highly structured, but at the same time done at a high aerobic level, level are probably the best challenge for the brain, and 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 you get the most bang for the buck from the brain that way. I, I love the idea of challenge, because and it seems like a lot of what we're talking about is this notion that a little bit of stress is a good thing. But at the same time, you mentioned you talk about mindfulness and meditation. Can you touch on that a little bit and its impact, uh, how it can impact good health and longevity? Yeah. yeah, and but and, it's about, and, and that relates directly to the point of stress, and I'll modify what you said a little bit, which is to say that it's not a little bit of stress, it's intermittent stress. Uh-huh. So you should be able to, just like when you're exercising, you stress your muscle, then you relax. Uh-huh. And that, that rest period that allows the building, and that's true in almost anything we do. And so a psychological stress is the same way. We're here to deal with stress. It's good for us as long as we take a break from it in some way or another. And what's interesting about meditation in connection with that, and not just meditation but the broader area of being mindful, is it is not a totally relaxed state at all. And, and um, the, they've actually connected up the brains of you know, the, 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 the instruments to measure brain waves in meditating people to, to understand this. But it's, it's really an alert stage. And it's, it's, it's being alert and ready to accept stress in some ways. And the biochemistry has confirmed that. And so it's pretty interesting that we're not talking about relaxation. We're mm-hmm. talking about a, a form of readiness. And if you think about it, that's the way our ancestors had to be all the time. They had to be ready to deal with things and therefore be able to be calm when they were dealing with things. How interesting. So meditation is kind of like a, a, a ready relaxation, an alert, rela- alert relaxation. It's an oxymoron of sorts. That's almost exactly right. How interesting it's, it's is that? Training to keep us to keep us more mindful in the present. Now, One of the you... problems of our civilization today is that we are so mindless. We are driven by the, the, the digital world, by all the media, by all of our toys. Now, when you say really prevent us from living in the present. So when you say mindful, how? Give me a, just a, a brief, succinct, descript, uh, definition of that term. Yeah, let me put it another way, and, and this is not the way a lot of people put it, but the neuroscience is starting to put it this way. And think about focus. And we tend to focus on something on your computer screen or the person you're talking to. Meditation and, and, and mindfulness is almost the opposite of focus. Huh. It's not being inattentive. It's being attentive to a broad area. So you see things out of the corner of your eye. It's where you see the unexpected. It's where you are open to something new. And that really, if you think about it, is the way people had to live in nature because they never knew what was coming. They're not controlling their schedule. So we have two parts of our brain that are really evolved to attend one to focus and one to the opposite of focus. And we need to use both parts of those brain, of that brain. You know, there's a, there's a guy who wrote a book, a guy named Famey, uh, uh, Les Famey, wrote a book called The Open Focus Brain. Have you heard of this? Where he, he contrasts. Yeah, sure have. Isn't that interesting? That's that's, what he's talking about. That is what he's talking about. He actually even mentions this idea of using the periphery, the peripheral vision, and that's actually an old shamanic technique for accessing different dimensions is to use use your peripheral vision. Uh, Dr. Famey, uh, uh, I think he's a doctor, talks about uh, accessing beta waves versus versus, uh, alpha waves, uh, beta state versus alpha state. Is this kind of what you're talking about? Yeah, 
and there was actually a really wonderful experiment in this that we cite in the book, and your your listeners can look this up on YouTube. Just Google um, gorilla and basketball. Oh, yeah, that's a great it. one. That's a great experiment. Absolutely. Yeah, and that's exactly what we're talking about. So for, for those who don't know about it, it's, 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 uh, people were told to watch a basketball game and count how many times the ball changed hands. And then unknown to them, a, gor- a man in a gorilla suit slipped into the basketball game. And a significant number, like half of the observers, never saw the gorilla. Me. Count me and into that, that, too. That, that, <laughs> yeah. I didn't see it either. That's what's going on yeah. in, in our lives. We're not seeing the things on the periphery that are actually very, very important to our lives. What was scary about this gorilla experiment, and I know exactly what you're talking about, is the gorilla came right in the middle of the screen, and he beat his chest, and then he walks right. off. And we don't notice these right. things. That's, that's amazing. What is the cost to not noticing our world in terms of our health? Well, in terms of our health and in terms of our well-being, I mean, we, we miss out. For instance, uh, we miss, we, if we're not mindful of what we're eating, we're going to be stuffing our face full of uh, mm. carbohydrates, which we become addicted to. Okay? But uh, also being mindful makes us better in the social situation, being mindful Paying attention to what we're doing, not just re- 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 repeating things by rote and being in a mindless state. Okay. And, and that's the more the clinical definition of being mindful now is being present and action and being the agent as opposed to just pressing the button. And participating, having, participating know, the, in our world. I appreciate it. Dr. Rady yeah. and, and Mr. Manning, we got to move on. That's, that's the end of our hour. Appreciate you taking time to spend with us. Their book is Go Wild. I highly recommend it. Uh, you can get find it on Amazon or anywhere on the Internet. Thanks so much, guys. Hope to talk to you again soon. Have a beautiful day. That's all the time we have for today. We will continue talking about the cell membrane and my favorite amino acid, arginine, on the bright side tomorrow. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later folks. Bye for now. Hey everyone, have you heard about the no-no hair removal device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional quality results, here's our favorite host Cheryl for no-no hair removal. Thanks. Hey gals, I love talking about my no-no. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Got unwanted facial hair? No-no hair has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors. So it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the no-no, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card. And you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible no-no hair completely risk-free. Call 1-800-953-6062. That's 800-953-6062. 800-953-6062. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855 340 